18th. I'm Taylor Abair, stepping in today for the Big Bash. Give us a like and subscribe, won't you? On today's full World Watch show, Caleb Bailey drains one from another zip code, and Hannah Harris would know what that jargon means, plus much more. Now this is Top Story. President Joe Biden and China's Xi Jinping face-to-face, -face, pandemic style, holding a three and a half hour summit video call on Monday evening. It kicked off with informal waves, but conversation soon turned serious, diving into points of tension. China's human rights abuses, trade and economic issues, as well as Taiwan independence and power dynamics in the Indo-Pacific. Biden, who initiated the meeting, stated from the get-go that as two of the world's biggest economies, the United States and China have a responsibility. To ensure that the competition between our countries does not veer into conflict, whether intended or unintended. Just simple, straightforward competition. This was Biden's third conversation with Xi since taking office, but it's the most significant. Relations between the U.S. and China have become increasingly chilly in the last year, largely due to the points of tension we mentioned earlier. The dispute over Taiwan is especially tense. Xi stressed that when it comes to this island's nation, U.S. support for Taiwan is playing with fire. No outcomes were reached by the end, but that was expected. The call was only meant to keep communication between the U.S. and China, and by Biden's terms open and candid. Both Biden and Xi expressed a desire to continue to speak openly about their differences moving forward. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Taylor Abair. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.